Hello everybody, I am Balji Dhaka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and today we are uh, discussing paper code 866. This is test series and we are doing uh, quantitative portion that is mathematical portion. If x square plus question number 51, if x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 2x plus z plus uh, x plus z minus 1, then we have to find the value of this. Now, if you find such kind of question, what we have to do is that first see x square. If I take this side, then it will become minus 2x. And I can write here plus 1. Y square right here. Then z square minus 2z. 2z and plus 1 is equal to 0. If you see this expression, these two you will find that x minus 1 this is the square this is like this x square plus 1 minus 2x y square and this is z minus 1 square is equal to 0 from this expression you can clearly find out that x is equal to 1 because x minus 1 square is equal to 0 then x is equal to if you put you value 1 then it will be 1 minus 1 that is 0 and here y is equal to 0 from this you can find y is equal to 0 and from z is equal to 1 z is equal to 1 now put this value in this expression 1 power 3 that is 1 plus y that is 0 0 is uh, 0 into 0 into 0 0 plus 1 1 plus 1 that is 2 a is the answer in this case. So, such kind of question you can solve like this question number 52. If A, B and C can complete a work in 6 days, if A can work twice faster than B, twice faster than B and thrice faster than C, you can say if he is like this, as compared to C, A is doing 3 times faster means in one day if he is doing 6 unit, 3 unit, 2 unit this is the efficiency in one day work you can say one day work then A is a A can work faster twice than B that means if B is doing 3 unit then A will do 6 unit if C is doing 2 unit A will do 6 unit uh, C is doing 2 unit A will do 6 unit 3 times faster than C then the number of days C alone can complete the work is how much now take the LCM. LCM you can take here. Here 12. 12. Take the total uh, work is 12. And A is doing A is doing 6 unit a day. It means if you see if you see uh, 6 plus uh, See, take total work because this one day work and total they are doing in six days. It means six plus three plus two that is eleven. Eleven into six total work is sixty-six because they are completing the work in six days. Now total work is sixty-six days. C will do the work in sixty-six by two that is thirty-three days. Alone, C will complete in thirty-three days. Question number fifty-three. In this question. It is given the value of the following cos 24, cos 55, cos 125, cos 204, cos 30, 300. Now you can remember that cos 0 is equal to 1 and cos 90 is equal to 0. As you know, sin 90 is 1, sin is a positive cos. And also remember this cos 80 is equal to minus 1. And also remember cos 270 is equal to 0 and cos 360 is equal to 1. Sometimes it requires, so that's why you remember this. It is important to remember this. Now see in this here, you can write this expression in this term cos 45 plus cos 180 minus 55 plus 
cos 180 plus 24 and then cos 360 minus 60 as we have seen from this the value of cos so it will become minus it will become minus cos 55 and cos 80 in this side also it will become minus minus cos 24 and here you will find plus cos 60 degree so it will be cancel it will cancel like this you will have cos 60 cos 60 is equal to 1 by 2 answer is 1 by 2 question number 54 a dealer sold an article dealer sold a bicycle at a profit of 10 percent had he bought the bicycle at 10 percent less price and sold it price 60 more he would have gained 25 percent the cost price of the bicycle would be how much now see in this case if 100 is the this is 100 c cp take it as a cp in first case 10 percent profit it means sp1 you can write here 110 but in the second case if the buy, uh, buying price is buying price is 10 percent less it means 90 rupees and profit 25 percent 25 percent you can say 90 into 125 by 100 or in other words 112.50 the second SP if he has he is selling 25% uh, profit but if the case is 10% lower cost then he will be the selling price would be 112.50 the difference here is 2.5 if he has if selling 2.5 more then CP would be 100 if he is selling 60 more then CP would be 100 divided by 2.5 that is 5 by 2 you can write 5 into 2 and if it is 100 uh, it is 60 then 2400 is the answer 2400 is the answer question number 55 if two number are in the ratio 2 is to 3 and the ratio become 3 or ratio 4 when 8 is added to both the number means 2x and 3x and ratio becomes 3 by 4 when 8 is added to both the number 8 is added to both the number now then the sum of the two number initially we have to tell now solve this cross multiply you can say value of x is equal to 8 it means this is 8 into 2 16 8 into 3 24 and we have to find the value of sum sum would be 16 plus 24 that is 40 40 is the sum question number 56 Ram deposited a certain sum of money in a company at 12 percent per annum simple interest for four year and deposited equal amount in fixed deposit in a bank for five year at 15 percent per annum simple interest if the difference here the difference is given you can say difference in the interest from two sources 13 one three five zero then the sum deposit in each case would be how much and the equal deposits deposit equal amount it means let's take for example x x into 12 percent into four year difference difference x into 15 into 5 divided by 100 which is 1350 1350 you can another in another word you can say 50, uh, 15 into 5 75 and 48 75 minus 48 that is 27 x divided by 100 is equal to 1350 this is the difference of these two 
it is nothing related to positive negative it is the difference so it will cancel by 50 x is equal to 5000 amount was the sum was 5000 rupees question number 57 two towers a and b have a length 45 meter and 15 meter respectively angle of elevation from the bottom of the tower b to the top of the tower a is 60 degree if the angle of elevation from the bottom of tower a to the top of the tower b is theta then value of sin theta we have to tell now there are two situations here one is two tower a and b have length 45 a tower 45 length and another is b length is 15 meter here take it 15 angle of elevation from the bottom of tower b this b and this is angle of bottom tower b towards a is 60 degree this is 60 degree if the angle of elevation from the bottom of tower a bottom of tower a to the top of the tower b top of the tower b is theta here we are talking about this theta then we have to find the value of this in terms of sin theta we have to find the value of this now total is 15 not 45 and this is 60 this is 60 then first let us know what is the value of this x 45 by x is equal to tangent 60 tangent 60 is a root 3 you can say x is equal to 45 by root 3 or in other words rationalize it you can say that it is equal to 15 root 3 it means this is also 15 root 3 this is also 15 root 3 if this is 15 root 3 and 15 is this it means this is 15 total is 45 then it would be 30 15 is this total is 45 then it would be 30 30 is there for 15 root 3 is there 30 is there 15 root 3 is there we can find the value of it, this now find the value of theta tangent theta is equal to 30 divided by 15 root 3 we can find from this Thirty divided by fifteen root three, and we will have we will have two root three. That is tangent theta. Two root three. That is tangent theta. We have to tell this. The angle of elevation from bottom of tower A, this is bottom of tower A to the top of the B, we have to find value of this, value of a, this, note this. So what will be the value, let us see, x we have found for 15 root 3 and this is 15. So 15 divided by 15 root 3 that is tangent theta. You can say 1 by root 3 which is equal to tangent theta is value 30 degree so we have to find the value then the value of sine theta sine 30 would be how much sine 30 would be 1 by 2 answer is b question number 58 if a b and c d are two parallel chords of circle lying on the opposite side of the center and the distance between them is 17 centimeter the length a b and c d are 10 centimeter and 24 centimeter respectively radius of the circle is how much a b and c d are the two parallel chords of a circle this is two parallel chord you can write in this format is a two parallel chord opposite side of the center this side and this are these are opposite side of the center and distance between them is 17 this is 17 centimeter the length of a b you can write here a b c and d the length of a b and c d this uh, 10 and 24 
10 means 5 and 5, 24, 12 and 12. The length, we have to find the value of the radius of the circle would be, we have to find the value of this. We can say this, we have to find the value of this. If this is 12 and this is 5 and total is 17, from the triplet concept, Pythagoras triplet concept, we can easily find that if this is 12, then it would be 5, 5, 12, 13 and 5, 13 and 12. 12 plus 5 that is 17. So, from the concept of triplet which is 5, 12, 13 and five, that is 17 concept also or 12 plus 5. So, if this is 5 then this is 5 then it would be 13. So, radius would be 13 A is the answer. Two alloys contain tin and iron in the ratio 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 3. If these two ratio are allows uh, allow, allow the mixed in proportion of 3 is to 4 respectively by weight, weight, the ratio of tin and iron in the newly formed alloy would be how much? They are, have to be mixed in 3 is to 4. So, two alloys contain tin and iron in the ratio 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 3. In first alloy, a you can write here A and 1 is to 2 tin and then iron. In the second here this is 2 is to 3 2 is to 3. In other words if this is 3 kg and in the in that it will be 1 kg tin and 2 kg would be iron and in case of B if total is 5 kg then 2 kg would be tin and 3 kg would be iron and two alloys are mixed in the proportion of 3 is to 4 for example if this is 3 this is 3 then it should be it should be 4 it should be 3 kg and it should be 4 kg. So, in 3 kg, 3 kg of A, 1 would be uh, that is tin and 2 would be iron, tin and iron, 1 and 2 kg, it is already mentioned here. But here from this is total 5 kg, but we have to take 4 kg. In 5 kg, if it is 2, then 4 kg it would be 2 by 5 into 4, you can say. 4000 if you want to write then it would be um, 8 into 2 that is 1.6 kg 1.6 kg in 4 kg this is 4 kg of B 1.6 kg would be tin and then it will be 3 by 5 into 4 2.4 2 3 by 5 into 4 kg then it means 2.4 would be the iron so total tin would be in 7 kg total to, uh, tin would be 2.6 this is tin and 2 plus 2.4 4.4 4 is iron 4.4 4 is iron you can say 13 and 22 is the ratio of tin and iron in 7 kg 13 22 ratio answer is b next question question number 60 a train leaves station a at 5 am and reaches station B at 9 a.m. on the same day. Another train leaves station B at 7 a.m. and reaches station A at 10.30 a.m. on the same day. Time at, at which the two trains cross each other. We have find, find the we have uh, we have to find the time. Now see A to B. 5 to 9 it means taking 4 hour now see this is take let us take a and this is b a to b one train and going b to a second train if c is uh, this train is leaving at 5 am it means at 7 am 
this train will reach here and the second train that is this train here this will start at 7 am it means and this train will reach at 9 am so the gap is now for uh, after uh, 7 am in 2 hours you can say let's take 120 kilometer is the total distance 100 for the simplicity reason we have taken 120 kilometer and this is the gap this is the space that both the train will travel this train will travel this side and this train will travel this side this train is traveling with the speed how much is the speed the speed of these two ratio of their speed would be that is it means if one train is taking four hour a is taking four hour this four hour and b is taking seven to three point five hour it means this train is taking less hour you can see if this is taking eight hour this is taking seven hour so the speed would be in the opposite case opposite it means if it, it is taking seven hour then you can say if this is for example total is 56 kilometer then it will take 8 hours it will take 8 hour and it will take 7 hour in other words 8 kilometer per hour is this speed 8 kilometer per hour is the speed and this is 7 kilometer per hour speed this is the efficiency if this is 80 then this is 70 this is the efficiency of these two it means this train will travel 8 kilometer then this side this train will travel 7 kilometer means if this is traveling 80 kilometer this is traveling 70 kilometer 70 kilometer and we have taken 120 why we have taken 20 because we have taken 1 kilometer 1 as a 1 minute for the simplicity reason now now see 8 plus 7 8 kilometer plus 7 kilometer 7 kilometer take it as one per minute or you can take as per hour but in 17 8 7 plus 8 15 in 15 kilometer race b is contributing 8 hour 8 kilometer in 120 kilometer race it will contribute 60 hour 64 if this is contributing 64 and this will contribute 56 120 minus uh, 64 that is 56 in other words 7 plus 56 minute at 756 this travel train will reach here and here this train B will reach 7 plus 64 minute 64 minute 8.04 you can say at the same time at the same time it, it is traveling 56 kilometer then it is traveling 64 kilometer at the same time so it means what does it mean? It means question is the time at which the two train cross each other. They will cross at 756. They will cross at 756. Answer is C. This question you can interpret it from different direction also. You can take X, otherwise you can assume like we have assumed. But here the efficiency is 7 is to 8. This is the main thing that you have to take in, uh, into account because 7 to 9 am we have divided the time in the ratio 7 is to 8 because the same time if the time is divided similarly the distance will be divided as 8 is to 7 cover distance will be divided as 8 is to 7 if time is divided as 7 is to 8 because this is their efficiency so in this case then it would be if 756 at the time this time this train will cover if 56 kilometer covering then next train this train is covering 64 kilometer in the same time because of the efficiency of it is to 7 ratio so that's why the answer is 756 question number 61 the speed of boat in still water is 6 km and speed of stream is 1.5. This is still water speed and this is a stream speed. A man goes to a place at a distance of 22.5 km and comes back to the starting point. Total time taken by the him would be how much? Distance is total distance 22.5 km and come back. 
so you can say 22 kilometer 22.5 divided by 6 and it's going it means you can add downstream this is downstream this is downstream 7.5 plus plus Twenty two kilometer point five six one point five five minus that is you can see four point five. This is upstream. Total time taken would be now three for three plus five eight hours. Eight hours is the total time taken to go and come back. Question number sixty two. Conical iron piece having diameter 28 cm and height 30 cm is totally immersed into the water of cylindrical vessel resulting in the rise of water level by 6.4 diameter of the vessel we have to tell the diameter of the vessel like this this is the conical flask that we have and it here this is the conical flask so volume first we have to find the volume of this flask and volume of this flask is this is diameter it means this is 20 or 14 so 1 by 3 pi r square s is equal to is equal to this is cylindrical vessel pi r square r square and h cancel by 1 by 3 here you can write r r is 14 in this case 14 to 14 and h is given 30 centimeter is equal to r square which we have to find and h h is 6.4 and you, you can write here this side 6.4 and in place of point you can write into multiply it by 10 so Here you will find here value of R1. So this is square, then value of R1 would be in place of 7 into 7, we can take 7. In place of 10, 10 into 10, we can take 10. Divide by in place of 16, we can take 4. R1 value is 35 by 2. But here we have to find the diameter. So it would be 35 answer is D. Question number 63. Two pipe A and B can fill a tank with water in 30 minutes and 45 minutes respectively. Water pipe C can empty the tank in 36 minutes. First A and B are opened. After 12 minutes C is opened. Total time in which the tank will be filled up is how much? Now two pipe A and B can fill the tank with water in 30 and 45 minutes a b 30 and 45 minutes these are filling water c can empty this is emptying empty in 36 minutes you can write it as a negative sign so take total capacity 180 take calcium that is 180 unit in one minute a is filling six unit 180 divided by 30 B is filling 4 unit 180 divided by 45 and C is uh, emptying 5 unit 180 divided by 36 5 unit if they are filling 6 unit 4 unit then it will be emptying 5 unit now first they open A and B and how much time 12 minute 6 plus 4 10 10 into 12 that is 120 it means 60 is remaining 60 is remaining that is to be filled but C is opened after 12 it means the all are opened now 6 plus 4 10 minus 5 5 so 60 to fill 60 it will take 12 hour and we have to find the value total time it means 12 hour plus 12 hour 12 minutes plus 12 minutes total 24 minutes have been consumed to fill this tank answer is d 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी फोर इफ द इनकम फ्रॉम द मार्केट टैक्स इन एयर बी रुपीज वन सिक्सटी फाइव इन मार्केट टैक्स देन द टोटल इनकम फ्रॉम द अदर सोर्सेज वी हैव टू टेल इट मीन्स इफ थर्टी थ्री इज द इन मार्केट टैक्स इनकम देन अदर इनकम इज सिक्सटी सेवन हंड्रेड माइनस थर्टी थ्री सिक्सटी सेवन इफ इज दिस इज वन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फाइव देन इट बी सिक्सटी सेवन डिवाइड बाई थर्टी थ्री इंटू वन सिक्स फाइव यू कैन से थ्री थ्री फाइव शुड बी द आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी फाइव इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन विद द टोटल इनकम इन ईयर इज सेवन थ्री थ्री करोड देन द इनकम फ्रॉम द इनकम टैक्स एंड एक्साइज ड्यूटी इनकम टैक्स एंड एक्साइज ड्यूटी थर्टी फाइव प्लस टेन फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट वी हैव टेल वन सेवन थ्री थ्री इंटू फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस Divided by twenty, you can divide it by two for the uh, uh, simplicity purpose. This amount you can divide by two. So three two nine point eight five is the answer. Question number sixty six. The central. Angle of sector representing income tax is this is income tax and this is thirty five percent. You can say thirty five out of hundred then from three sixty because this is total three sixty then it would be we have to find one twenty six is that angle that is represented by income tax. Question number sixty seven. Percentage of metal in a mine of lead ore is sixty percent. Percentage of metal in a mine of lead ore, lead, lead ore is sixty percent. Now the percentage of silver is three by four percent of the metal, and the rest is lead. Out of uh, the metals, three by six percent, four percent is silver, and rest are other metals. Rest is lead. Uh, lead. If the mass of the one extracted from this mine is eight thousand kilogram, then mass of lead would be how much? It means eight thousand is the ore mine from the this mine. Then sixty percent, sixty percent of uh, this is lead ore. This is lead ore. You can, other words, say four thousand eight hundred. But here, three by four percent is silver metal. Three by four percent means you can say three by four percent is. In other words, thirty-six is silver. Then remaining would be four eight zero zero minus thirty-six. Four seven six four should be the answer. Is it C? Now question number sixty eight. A circular swimming pool is surrounded by concrete wall four meter wide. The area of the concrete wall surrounding the pool is eleven by twenty five. That of the pool. Then The radius of the pool we have to tell. A circular swimming pool is surrounded by concrete wall. This is pool, and this is surrounded by concrete wall, and this wall is four centimeter wide. If the area of the concrete wall surrounding the pool is eleven by twenty-five, you can say you can write here. This is R then it would be R plus four, R plus four, and the area of area of the concrete wall surrounding the pool is this is eleven by twenty that of the pool. Then the radius of the pool we have to find the radius of the pool. So you can say 
पाई आर प्लस फोर स्क्वेयर माइनस पाई आर स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू इलेवन बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑफ द पुल ऑफ द पुल दैट इज पाई आर स्क्वेयर दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन दैट वी हैव गॉट नाउ यू कैन टेक पाई एज ए कॉमन and then we have let, let's open this bracket r square plus 16 plus 8 r minus r square 11 by 25 pi r square pi to pi cancel and r square r square cancel 8 r is equal to 11 by you can say here This is r square. This is r square. Eleven r square here. Eleven r square plus this side it will go then twenty five into eight two hundred. You can write here two hundred r plus four hundred. Now this has the expression. It, this expression has become. In other words, eleven r square. Minus 200 r minus 400 is equal to zero. This is the quadratic equation has become. If you find such kind of expression, always try to put value from the option. I have told this many times. That will be more appropriate. Now see which can be the correct. If you put it, it would be correct or not? No, it cannot be. If you 16, no. If you 30, no. If you 20, it can be because. 400 into uh, 11 that is 4400 minus 4400 minus and it would be coming it would be coming zero it means 20 is uh, satisfying the equation answer is a d question number 69 Radii of two concentric circles are 13 cm and 8 cm. AB is the diameter of the bigger circle and BD is the tangent to the smaller circle. Touching it at D and the bigger circle at E. Point at A is joined to D. Length of AD we have to find. Now see this. It is very very important question. This is the circle and there is another circle. Radii of two concentric circles are 13. And eight centimeter. You can take it as eight. Here, this is eight centimeter. This is total thirteen. Here, thirteen you can take. AB is the diameter of the bigger circle. This is the AB diameter of bigger circle, and BD is tangent. This is tangent. This is tangent to the. Smaller circle BD, which is touching at D and bigger circle at E, and bigger circle at E B D and E. Point A is joined to D. Point A is joined to D. Find the length of the AD. We have to find the value of this AD. Now in this expression, it is given. This is thirteen. Uh, this is eight. This is thirteen. This is eight. And as we know, this is. This is 90 degree because a tangent it will form 90 degree angle. If this is 90, and then it will become this is will become hypotenuse which is 18, and this is 8. Then we can find the value of this DB, and that is equal to 13 square minus 8 square. One zero. One six nine minus sixty four, one zero five root. So this has become one zero five root. Now, if this is in half circle, in half circle, this is half circle because this is diameter. Angle is always ninety degree. Angle for angle is ninety. This is ninety degree. This is ninety degree, and this is also ninety degree. So from this, from this. You can write like this. This has become like this. This has become this is eight. If this is eight, 
this is 8 and this is also parallel because if this is 90 degree then this is also 90 degree then it would be 16 because this is half also half also why because this will divide into two equal parts perpendicular will divide two equal parts to the chord this is also chord so if this is 16 now we have found this this is 16 and this is because this is half it means root 105 this is one root uh, root 105 this is 16 then we can find the value of this you know, this is 90 degree from Pythagoras we can find the value of this so 105 square of root 105 is 105 and plus 16 into 16 because this is 16 256 then it will become 361 root of 361 will be 19 so value of this would be 19 answer is B answer is B question number 70 average age of 40 student of a class is 15 years when 10 new students are admitted average age is increased to by 0.2 year Average age of new student is how much? Average age of a new students. Now, 40 plus 10, that is 50. Uh, 50. 50. And when 10 new students are admitted, it means total has become 50. Average age is increased by 0.2. Average age increased by 0.2, that is 50 into 0.2 means 10 10 year increased total total 10 year increased because earlier it was 15 now if we include 10 more then it will become 15.2 the average of new student is how much it if it is total increasing 10 years and there are total 10 new student it means per student it is increasing one year so if 40 student are of 15 year then the, these two 10 new will be of a 16 year one 15 plus one that is 16 year so 16 is the answer 70 b 71 question number which smallest number must be added to 710 so that the sum is a perfect cube now obviously 729 is cube of 9 3 9 to 9 to 9 it means 19 has to be added angle in a semicircle is always a right angle you can write directly now question number 73 secant theta plus tangent theta is equal to 2 plus root 5 then we have to find the value of sine theta now if you find such kind of questions you know secant square theta minus tangent square theta is very important formula that is one in other words secant theta plus tangent theta and secant theta minus theta a square minus b square we have applied this so this is given you write again uh, complete tangent theta is equal to one and this we have given so secant theta minus tangent theta is equal to 1 by 2 plus root root 5 and you can also you can also write this root 5 plus 2 because try to always write bigger number first and rationalize it then root 2 5 minus 2 and root 5 minus 2 that is you can say root 5 minus 2 has become this so second theta minus tangent theta is root 2 root 5 minus 2 and this is now add both these you will find if you add both these second theta plus tangent theta plus second theta minus tangent theta and or you subtract you can subtract if we subtract then we will have this has become minus and this has become then it will become 
वी आर सब्सट्रेक्टिंग दिस रूट टू टू रूट फाइव माइनस फाइव एंड देन रूट टू सो हेयर यू हैव कैंसल ऑन पॉइंट माइनस प्लस टू टू टेंजेंट थीटा इज इक्वल टू फोर इन अदर वर्ड्स टेंजेंट थीटा टेंजेंट थीटा इज इक्वल टू हेयर यू हैव फाउंड टू here you found 2 in other words according to the pythagoras if this is 2 this is 1 because tangent theta is 2 2 and 1 we can write uh, then it will become root 5 so we have to find the value of sin theta sin theta would be 2 root 2 divided by root 5 2 divided by root 5 b is the answer so such kind of question you can solve like uh, this through pythagoras combination 4a minus 4a by a plus 3 is equal to zero. Then we have to find the value of this expression. So if we divide by both side by 4, then we will have a because we have divided by 4 and divided by 4 and 4 like this. A minus 1 by a and plus 3 by 4 is equal to 0. In other words, a minus 1 by a is equal to minus 3 by 4. Cubing both side, we will get. Cubing both side, we will get a3, a3 minus 1 by a3 minus 3 into a into 1 by a. A minus a, you can write here directly 3 by 4 is equal to 27. Minus divided by 64, and in this way we will have a3 minus 1 by a3, and then plus 9 by 4, plus 9 by 4, and here we have got 27 divided by 64. But we have to find the value of a3 plus 1 by minus this a3 plus 3. Instead of 9 by 4, we have to write 3. It you can say you can add. 3 by 4, so then it will become 9 plus 3, 12 by 4. That is 3. Add both side 3 by 4. Add both side 3 by 4. Then this side it has become equal to this. 12 by 4. That is 3. Now solve this. We will get answer. 64 take LCM minus 27 plus 48 plus 48 minus 27. You can say 21 plus divided by 64. 21 divided by 64 is the answer. Is C. So question number 75. In last question. If the discount of 10% is given on the mark price of a radio, the gain is 20%. If the discount is increased to 20%, the gain percent would be how much? Suppose 100 is the CP and Gain is 20%. That is 120 is the SP, and then discount is 10%. 10% discount you can say 100 into 100 by 120 into 100 by 90. 400 divided by 3 is the MRP. He is saying that in place of 403, 10% discount. If the discount is 20%, then MRP would be. 80 by 100, 80 by 100. That is 20 percent discount. You can say 320 by 3 is the MRP. So gain percent would be gain percent. You can deduct 100 directly. Answer is 20 by 3. 20 by 3 percent is the that is you can say 6 plus 2 by 3 percentage. C is the answer in this case. So in this way we have covered all 75 questions from 51 to 75 thank you very much for watching this presentation all the best